Now, the Kenya Kwanza Alliance, led by their presidential leader, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, took their campaigns today in Nairobi County. And according to my observations during that rally, ladies and gentlemen, I noted that they are campaigning for their aspirants, including Johnson Sakaja as their governor, and also they are campaigning for Bishop Margaret Wanjiru as their uh, senator aspirant. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Nairobi County consists of around 2.5 million voters. And according to the opinion polls as at now, Raila Amolo Odinga and the Azimio La Umoja uh, Alliance is leading by around 50%, followed by Dr. William Samuel Ruto with around 30%. And also remember that the Azimio La Umoja Alliance, led by Raila Amolo Odinga, was campaigning here in Nairobi for the better part of this week. Now, in this video today, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to give you a quick review, a brief analysis on why I personally think that William Samuel Ruto will easily take the presidency. So in my considered opinion, and according to my analysis, I do mean that if elections were to be held today, William Samuel Ruto would emerge as the winner and also has the better chances of becoming the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And I'm going actually to tell you how this will happen. But before that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video for the first time, kindly support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend my channel to reach out to other people and also so that we can grow together. To my viewers and also to my subscribers, I'm not taking you a part in this channel for granted. I'm always grateful for you. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly allow me to take you back to 2013. How did Raila Molo, how did William Samoy Ruto and Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta emerge as the winners? Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that majority of their votes were sympathy votes. Majority of Kenyans sympathized, sympathized with them because they were actually being taken to the ICC court case. Now, what about in 2017? How did they emerge as the winners? Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that around 80% of Kenyans vote according to their tribes. And that's why we usually say that the politics of Kenya is local. And therefore, we have eight provinces in Kenya. According to those provinces, ladies and gentlemen, you are able to determine the strongholds of two main horse races, Raila Molo Dinga and William Samuel Ruto. If you look at those provinces keenly, you are able to know the strongholds of each and every candidate. We have Nairobi County, Nairobi province. We have the Central Province, we have the Rift Valley Province, we have the Western Province, we have the, uh, the, 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 the Nyanza Province, we have Coast Province, we have Northeastern and the Eastern Province. If you compare the results with the 2017 general elections, you will agree with me that majority in that, in the majority of those provinces which I have mentioned, Raila Molo Dinga was leading with a lot of the provinces. But despite him leading with those all provinces, the majority of them, he was unable to defeat Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta. Please, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to Nyanza province right now as we speak. Let's say we give Raila Molo Dinga in Nyanza province around 80%. Then we give Dr. William Samoy Ruto around 18% of the total votes. I'm just giving you in the percentage so that you can go and compare with the total votes so that you can determine how much, how much votes a person can win. So let's start with Nyanza, Nyanza province. Give Raila Molo Dinga 80%. 
give Dr. William Samuel Ruto around 18%. We go to Western Province. Remember that Will, uh, Musalia Mudavadi has some effects of the Western Province votes. So, in Western Province, let's give Raila Molo Odinga how much? Let's give Raila Molo Odinga around 65%. Let's give William Samuel Ruto around 35 or 30 percent because of the entrance of Musalia Mudavadi into the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. So we are done with Nyanza and we are done with Western Province. And in those provinces, remember that Raila Molo Odinga is leading, but also remember that Dr. William Samuel Ruto has a number of votes in that those provinces. Let's go to the Northeastern Province. The Northeastern Province, they are not so much votes, but Let's give them around, let's give Raila Molo Odinga around 45 and give Dr. William Samuel Ruto around 40%, 45 and 40%. They are not, they are around 300 votes, 300,000 votes in those provinces. So let's give them like they are equal, somehow equal uh, if you compare those candidates, but they are not much votes. Let's go to the Rift Valley province. That is the stronghold of Rail of Urum of William Samuel Ruto. So let's give Urum, let's give William Samuel Ruto, let's be fair, give William Samuel Ruto around 80% or 75%. Then let's give Raila Molo Dinga, or let's give yeah, let's give Raila Molo Dinga around 20% and give William Samuel Ruto around 75%. But remember that. If you compare the votes of Nyanza province, that is strong, the main stronghold of Baba, and Rift Valley, the main stronghold of William Samuel Ruto, if you compare the number of votes, William Samuel Ruto is gaining by far. Because in Nyanza province, I don't know how much votes we have, I'm not so sure with the numbers, but if you compare the numbers, William Samuel Ruto, if you give him 75% and give Raila Moloding around 20%, William Samuel Ruto is leading by far. The Rift Valley votes are actually the majority compared to the Nyanza votes. Let's go to Central Province. It is also a stronghold of William Samuel Ruto. So, therefore, let's give William Samuel Ruto around 69% or 65 to 69%. Let's give Raila Molo Odinga 22 to 25%. Remember, there are the majority of votes in that region. And Dr. William Samuel Ruto is actually the person to beat in central region. Let's go to the eastern province, the Ukambani region. Of course, there Raila Molo Dinga is also leading. Let's give Raila Molo Dinga around 55% or 50%. Give Dr. William Samuel Ruto around 30%. That will be fair as at now. And also, let's go to Coast Province. In Coast Province, let's give Raila Molo Dinga because he is also leading in that place. Let's give Raila Molo Dinga around 55%. Let's give William Samuel Ruto around 35%. Ladies and gentlemen, you look, agree with me that in those provinces which I've mentioned, Raila Molo Dinga is leading in the majority of them. But also, the numbers or the total votes are also failing him, if you compare. In the strongholds of William Samuel Ruto, the main stronghold that he has, he has the majority of votes compared to uh, Raila Molo Odinga's main stronghold. And therefore, the strongholds, the major strongholds of Raila Molo Odinga, William Samuel Ruto has also his percentage of share. So, if you compare those analyses, ladies and gentlemen, and compared, compare it with, compare the analysis with the Jubilee and NASA results. You will agree with me that even in the Jubilee and NASA contest between Raila Molo Dinga and Hurumwege Kenyatta, Raila Molo Dinga was also leading in the majority of the provinces, but he was not able to become the next president of the Republic of Kenya. Why? Because the numbers failed him. So, meaning, the main and the majority of the tyranny of numbers comes from the Rift Valley region 
and the central region. What do you think? Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.